Hello and welcome to game number two for Gosu League Division One between Next KZ and Sven Hunters. We are gonna see, uh, well, the last game between these two teams, uh, regardless of who wins. In case you're wondering, what you just said, it was game number two. Yes, that's correct, because there is two matches between these two teams, one's from one game from each side. So this time, Next KZ is on the dire, and previous game it was Sven Hunters that had that privilege. And um, you get a point for each win that you get. At the end of the season, the team with the most points wins. That's how league systems work. And that is why we are seeing this also implemented in uh, in this league. And uh, we're going to see Spinhunters. Like I said, on the Radiant side, they have also got first pick. They have got uh, the Magnus being banned out. Bad Rider was banned out by Next KZ. So let's see what other heroes we are not going to have in the pool. By the way... Ten seconds. In case you're, uh, you want to watch this game inside the game client, that is also possible. You can buy the in-game ticket for only one dollar. It is um, it's really not a lot and you get all the Division 1 matches for this season, for previous season and for I think also for next season. So you have a lot of matches for just one dollar and uh, you should uh, definitely uh, go check that out as so, uh, people inside the client can also hear me. Hi people inside the client. There you go. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's... Um, is definitely nice to have and of course if you watch inside the game client and you are a witness of a double kill of the first blood etc you have a chance of getting an item from that so that's also a uh, pretty nifty uh, nifty stuff right there as uh, we have got the bounty hunter being banned out by Sven Hunters as the previous game by the way in case you're wondering Sven Hunters but previous game Sven Hunters banned out the, the Sven they didn't want to chase him they didn't want to hunt him but let's see if he's gonna be making it through today. It's gonna be the bounty hunter that gets banned out by next KZ. So that's the one that they, do, that they don't want to face. Uh, but Undying still in the pool worked out good for Sven, hun Sven Hunters in the previous game. So we might see that one pop up again. And uh, otherwise, probably next KZ will pick it up. A hero that is, of course, I mean, either you ban Undying out or you pick him up. Ten seconds remaining. It's that simple. It is that simple indeed. And for the people who are wondering uh, who are Sven Hunters, well, I will tell you. Uh, you, of course, know, I think you should, or think you should know, Fubar and Evo, two Dying Swedish teams. Uh, they have decided that the teams don't work, uh, didn't work in their uh, their competition that they were at, and they decided to merge. So uh, they have got one team right now with five players. So there were some uh, shifting done, but we will see uh, Sven Hunters under under this name. A competition of Fubar and Evo, and uh, that is uh, where they came from. And as of course, I mean, you can't com kind of compare it to ta to uh, No Tide Hunter. At the time No Tide Hunter was formed, it was Tide Hunter that was a pretty big uh, impact on all the games. Right now, it's Fen. So that is uh, what we see as we might see them chasing their names when uh, when and if they find a sponsor. Uh, though with uh, recent results, uh, they have been doing quite well. So might be uh, not that difficult to, to find sponsors but we see uh, them picking up a Templar Assassin that was their first pick of the game next KZ respond to that by not picking up an Undying no they pick up the Wisp Chaos Knight combination uh, for in the game for people that say in the chat that in the game you don't have a caster yes you do you can select my name and you can hear me inside the game client my audio should be working there so that is uh, that is that but uh, we will uh, we'll see we have of course got uh, the uh, next pickups for uh, Sven Hunters do they want to get that on dying again or are they going for something else uh, we of course have the Templar Assassin who's going mid I mean that's quite logical and, and we have seen that before um, they might also want to pick up something for themselves that might otherwise counter the Templar Assassin something like a Venomancer or uh, Enigma even, Enigma even, so... Uh, they, they're still gonna go for the Undying. Still the Enigma though. Uh, that's gonna be their jungle hero as well as uh, something that is at least the knight to next KZ. We're gonna have the Undying for probably long lane again for Sven Hunters and right now next KZ they have the choice. Do they want a jungle hero for themselves? Or are they gonna go for tri lane? Personally I think Trine Lane would be better. Wisp and Chaos Knight, I mean, it's a great combination. We've seen it plenty of times before. But on the lane, earlier on, 
I think the Wisp is actually a bit, uh, is, is a bit weak. Uh, Charlie would make it so much more aggressive. So, but we'll see what they're going to be doing. We're going to see a Gyrocopter picked up again by Next KZ. So that's going to be uh, their answer to the uh, Undying Enigma combination, I guess. And of course, Gyrocopter also a hero against the Templar Assassin that is fairly decent actually. So uh, that is going to be uh, their solo mid, most likely, as yes, they're not giving away yet if they want to go for a jungle hero, but we might see Sven Hunters just denying that in total, as uh, they can ban out the Chen or something if they want to have that. We're going to have a uh, Jakiro being banned out by Sven Hunters. They still expect a tri lane, and they don't want it, and at least not with the Jakiro, those, uh, that one of the supports that is, we know, of course, is uh, pretty damn powerful. Uh, but that one is uh, banned out as uh, well as uh, the Shadow Demon that we saw in the previous game uh, that was uh, used against that Garrocopter very effectively so I like uh, I like that ban and they don't want to be facing that one anymore next ban is going to be in the hands of Sven Hunters again I mean if you look at the lineup for next KZ now it's, it's pretty simple about what you should be banning out either long lane solo so we might see Windrun or Beastmaster whichever they don't want to face uh, but they can ban those out maybe even a Tidehunter if they're expecting that or support slash jungle, depending on what they are expecting. And apparently they are expecting uh, the tri lane, so they can ban out maybe a Shrek or something like that. Of course, with the Chaos Knight, there are so many good combinations. And the Shrek is one of those heroes that is actually decent in all stages of the game, not just in the laning phase. So that could be a good combination. It will be a tight on however, that's banned out. I named him earlier as a long lane solo possibility, and apparently Sven Hunters had the same idea, and they don't want to be giving that one away. And uh, next KZ making sure that they ban instantly the moment they get a chance. They ban out the Queen of Pain, and that's going to be uh, the knife for a uh, solo lane. Also for the for the Sven Hunters, quite an unusual ban though, considering there is already a long lane solo, is already a mid lane hero as well. So interesting to see that. But uh, also, I mean, they they ban it out instantly. Also, just making sure that Sven Hunters has to use a bonus time if if because last. Last der band that they did, they took a time, took some time to think about that one. So they are basically forcing Sven Hunters to uh, to use some of their bonus time again, um, unless they're remaining. a bit faster this time, which is uh, possible. But no, nope, bonus time it is once more. Is it gonna be one of those long lane solos? The Windrunner, as I said, is still a very strong one at that. Or is it gonna be uh, a Chen or something like that as well? Of course, the jungle hero is there. Keeper of the Light could be one of those heroes as well. Keeper of Light Chaos Knight is actually a combination that is is pretty pretty powerful. Chaos Knight is a hero that relies relies um, heavily on on mana for to do his spells, obviously. But he his mana pool is not that big. Uh, so with the Keeper of Light, that will be uh, quite. Quite uh, dangerous, but they uh, they ban out the Rubik, so that's gonna be the one that next he cannot pick up. They use him in the previous game, and uh, I like this pick up or sorry this ban out as well. Luna still being banned out by Sven Hunters. They faced him in the previous game. Do not want to face that one again. I don't blame them personally because he was a very uh, pff, very farmed Luna in the end. That is for sure. Ten seconds remaining. Gonna see uh, the next. Pick up for Sven Hunters. Well, I see the next. That is the first one after the second banning phase. And it's going to be uh, giving a bit more away about what they're actually going to be doing. I mean, in theory, they could just go for a dual lane. And there's a lot of dual lane combinations still in the pool. The and oh, we might see something uh, with uh, that we've seen before. Maybe with a Phantom Lancer Keeper of Light. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, this Keeper of Light makes a good combination with a lot of heroes, actually. I mean, every hero that is uh, basically mana deprived for a lot of the times is good with that Keeper of the Light. But we'll, um, we'll see what that's gonna be next KZ. They now cannot pick up that Keeper of the Light anymore if, if they were planning to do it so they have to uh, decide again. By the way, something that uh, we have to note, this Sven is not banned nor picked yet. Yes, it could work well with Keeper of the Light. Not ideal though. Not as not as uh, not as the uh, Phantom Lancer. That is for sure. And for next KZ, I'm not sure if that's going to be a good one either. They already have the Chaos Knight. That's basically the equivalent of that. So, I think this is um, one of the first times that we see that lately. Yeah, and this is the second game that we see a Gyrocopter. Oh my god, they've swapped places! Gyrocopter Numera. Well, actually, that's kind of true. Uh, even though, personally, I, I have a different 
from the starting of the two mana game. But and Gyrocopter has made it into the mana game, and he is uh, he's basically he has it all. He has a pretty strong laning phase. He is a uh, nice he's mid assassin. mid lane. And hello, Nyx Assassin. Oh my God, Wisp Nyx Assassin combination is deadly. And I mean, yeah, you have the Chaos Knight Wisp also, I mean, but then Chaos Knight can just continue farming while Nyx is trying to make everybody feel unsafe on the map, and with the Keeper of the Light in the map, he's gonna have a tasty bite right there, if he can find him, that is. I like the pick up a lot, and we also force Fan Hunters to, uh, to buy out some dust and some words even, because of course if you buy dust, that would indicate that you already know that he's there, and basically when you know that he's there, in theory that's already too late. So words it is. But uh, but we'll see. We're gonna have Sven, Sven Hunter or Wards or Gem, of course, as well. But we're gonna have Sven Hunter as their last pickup, and this is already their bonus time. This is all they have left. 15 seconds to go. Will it be a Phantom Lancer, or will it be maybe still a Sven or something other combination that we uh, that they can they can farm with? Because they have to have again a carry. Faces Void even still a good possibility if they want to have that one. Um, though Phantom no, it's gonna be Phantom Lancer. Uh, yeah, no real surprise there. As uh, they're gonna be picking that up. I mean, yeah, you, a lot of people will know it from Dota One. And uh, personally, I, I didn't know it from Dota One. I just got told about it because I didn't really, I, d I wasn't in Dota One, or at least not uh, the competitive side of that. But um, Keeper of Light, Phantom Lancer, Chakra Magic. We'll make sure that the Phantom Lancer can throw out his lands every single time. So whoever they are up against, I already feel sorry for them to begin with. Reserve time. Reserve time for next KZ. They have 30 seconds left in their reserve time. I'm not quite sure what role Nyx Assassin is going to fulfill here. It might be going towards uh, the bottom lane solo. But against a Keeper of Light Phantom Lancer, that might not be the smartest idea ever. So we might see them instead pick up uh, a different uh, long laner. Maybe still a Windrunner if they want to. And then have a semi trailing with a Wisp and a Chaos Knight. And a Nyx Assassin? Uh, might be. Five seconds. There's the brood mother, so that's gonna be their solo lane indeed, and that would mean that a Nyx assassin is indeed gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be played as a semi support here. Interesting, interesting indeed. Let's see. As um, kindly do not do not spoil for people that are watching the stream thank you but no spam at all anyway switch over lace gonna have ourselves a game with the mix in there with the brood mother with a new portrait 10 seconds remaining yeah i'm not i uh, sorry i'm studying the portrait from the brood mother <laughs> uh it, it i'm you know, I would say I'm not a fan, but that would be because it's actually—I mean, it looks—it looks a bit more scary, and I guess that's the intention. So in in that case, good job, Elf. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, that is that. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look, see who's playing what. Bamboo, of course, on the Brute Mother is his uh, signature hero, though we we haven't seen him on that for a while. At least I haven't. Cassie is gonna get another shout out from Bellas once more. But uh, yeah, Bamboo Brute Mother bottom lane will be. The lane for him, Mantis, will be playing the Garrocopter on this uh, middle lane. And of course, by the way, he's standing in for next KZ for this game, in case you're wondering what he's doing there. We're going to have Ballas playing the Wisp on uh, the top lane. He's going to be 9 playing the Templar. Oh, sorry, playing the Templar. Is what? It's a Nyx Assassin. Still Assassins, but oh well. It's going to be Stalkat on the Chaos lane. They're all roaming to... Uh, to the mid lane to maybe see if they can find out someone who is trying to go for a rune. But we see uh, Sven Hunters being very careful. Sven Hunters is on uh, the uh, Radiant side, of course. We're gonna have Audio Dota playing the Phantom Lancer. It's gonna be uh, Quicks who's gonna be playing that Enigma. Blueberry Ninja on the Keeper of the Light in uh, the middle lane. We'll have Shui playing the Templar Assassin already in advance. I will apologize for saying that there is. Um, going to be some mix-up between Templar Assassin and Nyx Assassins. So, there we have it. And we're going to have uh, Werner playing the Undying again on the uh, solo lane, the on the uh, long lane solo. He'll have a uh, tough time, because there's basically triple stuns. Uh, there is a, uh, or there could be, 
That could be. I impale if he actually skilled that one, which he doesn't yet. Um, but there is a, there is an impale, there is a reality rift and a chaos bolt. And now you say, yeah, the rift is not a stun. It is not. But it is if you combine it with a wisp stutter. Because that will mean that uh, if, if you reality rift, you basically end up on the opposite of your target. So that will mean that the stutter always hits. And that will mean that there's always a secondary stun up on there. So uh, that is uh, a lot of the table coming off. And uh, of course on dying, he does his name d justice. He might be able to just not die. But it will be uh, will be tough depending on how aggressive next KZ is going to be with their lanes. As we have got Templar Assassin in the mid lane. He's going for a fast bottle. And uh, we will have... Uh, I mean, this will be a fairly interesting lineup. I mean, in, in theory, neither should be dying. Though Mantis is going to be having a bit more tough time. Mantis also going for a fast bottle. Actually, interesting to note that their uh, starting build is both exactly the same. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna be getting ahead in this lane. Uh, with of course uh, the barrage with the yeah, refraction uh, is not really that good against barrage. Barrage will just make sure the refraction is gone. At the same time, the Garrocopter will be getting harassed a lot there. He uh, does not have his bottle yet, while Shui he does have his bottle. So that's a slight difference right there. As we have Bamboo already taking a lot of harassment on his bottom lane. Uh, one of the heroes that is, is fairly decent against this combination that uh, Sven Hunters have going right here. I mean, he can stay alive. Uh, that's, um, of course, prerogative of the lonely solo, that he should have survivability. But he is just invisible, and if you're invisible, you can't throw out a lance on him. So, and that's going to be something that, of course, uh, the uh, Phantom Lancer wants to do when the Chakra Magic is up on the Keeper of the Light. Uh, but for now, for now, he's not going to be able to do that just yet. We'll see, though, because uh, there will also probably be wars at some point, though we already see also Bamboo with counter wards in his inventory. And uh, the wards on the Keeper of Light are there. He placed uh, one ward here to counter the ward that we saw being placed by the Wisp. Wisp, who is back on the top lane, is actually staying in range of the of the uh, Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight already uh, landed his uh, combination once. Apparently, he already got uh, not a lot of mana left anymore. Um, yeah, that's going to be uh, trouble for him if they want to try to kill him. Because look at that. You wouldn't say this is a target that actually already got, uh, got harassed, got a stun in his face. And that is... Uh, yeah, not not all too good for uh, for the dire team. As we have Garrocopter picking up a double damage rune, might be trying to go for three again. Though of course, the well, your bottle is empty, but she is also full on HP again. Still two charges in the bottle for the Garrocopter. He's not going to be going for anything in the meantime, though. We're not going to be putting up a tombstone here. There's the impale. Is there going to be more? That our son could be going off soon too. There's the son fourth. One second only. And that's going to be Werner taking a lot of damage, and it's actually Balas that picks up the last hit there, who's trying to get away from the zombies. And they're just going to be farming the zombies, because that gold right now is just very welcome. And then the tombstone disappears, and they're out of free gold. Yeah. It is a shame, but Werner dies as the first one to go down there, and that's the amount of the table the next case he has. They can just do that constantly if they have the mana, which is, of course, something that they have to be taken into account. <coughs> and going go through, clearing out some of the spiral lanes, Bamboo backing off once more. And uh, we actually have seen this before, a uh, brood mother being picked up when there's already a Keeper of Light in on the opposing team, which is uh, not that ideal, uh, to be fair. Of course, the Illuminate will clear out the spy lanes, not only now, but if you're imagining, like, later game, it will be, of course, I mean, at some point, f hopefully for next KZ, they will be standing at the base of, uh, of the Radiant side, they will be trying to push in to Sven, Hunt Sven Hunter's uh, base. When they illuminate and all the spellings are gone, well, when they illuminate at higher level, that is, and then your pushing kind of fails, then your pushing kind of stops, and your split pushing is also not going to be working out as good because that's just not going to be possible. In the meantime, though, Sweet Dota is going to be getting a lot of trouble right here, but he is still able to pick something up. He will drop though, but it was the Garrocopter that went down, and Nigma actually coming out of the jungle to help with that as well. And that was Quicks picking up the last hit for that one. Got 400 gold now in his inventory. Picked up a soul ring and uh, will be continuing in the jungle. But a uh, nice gank being done there as uh, Nyx Assassin picked up the illusion rune. And it's actually Wisp that stays in the middle lane here. We're waiting for uh, the Garrocopter to come back and getting some extra experience with that. And that's very important to get that experience up on that Wisp because you want her to be level 6. Same thing goes for the Nyx Assassin though. You want him to be level 6 as well to try and help uh, gank some people as Bamboo. Taking a lot of harassment here as well as uh, forced away. Still one sentry word up on the Keeper of Light, but they don't want to be using it unless they know for a fact that they can kill off Bamboo, which for now is just not that uh, that obvious yet. As the trees come back though, uh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. 
Indeed. Uh, but yeah, Garrocopter and Templar Assassin both dying. The one thing that we have to note ab about this combination that is specific without taking in the, into account the, uh, the uh, supports that were there, it was actually the Garrocopter that went down first. So it was the Templar Assassin, Sweet Dota, that has got the most experience from that kill. So all in all, uh, slightly in favor of her as Bamboo. I mean, taking a lot of harassment is out of reach and also so he has to be very careful, he's not level 6 yet, level 6 would give him of course the insatiable hunger which will allow him to get a, let him get back on HP, illuminate to go through. He is playing with fire right now because one more shot for magic and when he is visible again they might be able to kill him off with one illuminate. But then there is a no mana up uh, again on the uh, bounty hunter as the Gabrocopter goes down again in the middle lane. Quick's helping out there again, a double gank coming up from them and no supports coming this time for next KZ because they were all back on the top lane and at the same time in the top lane they've been here for a while again and still Werner, I mean he's still hanging around, he is being allowed an experience range even, he's level 5 for a level 5 Chaos Knight, he is on par with them and that is something that should not be happening from next KZ because uh, that, that's just uh, not the way you're supposed to be doing it, Illuminate still hits Bamboo in the meantime, level 6, so uh, well actually doesn't go for an unstable hunger, went for 3 levels of spawn spiderlings as well as 3 levels for the web. There is a sentry ward here and he has to be very careful, Illuminate's gonna miss though, he now knows that they can see him and he will be extra careful with that as 5 seconds again to another chakra magic and that's gonna be again a kill, uh, this time uh, on the undying, which I said earlier, the one that they should have been killing and they did it, there was an impale, there was a stun and it looks like uh, Nexus Assassin was around there as well, even used his mana burn, low on mana and has to go back to base but uh, taken, continuing to take that advantage on the top lane and they have to continue killing him off or putting him out of experience range so both w would work but uh, killing him off works of course as well as he now died twice three of the kills that are done on the side of next KZ have been on the Werner on the top lane and we're gonna check out the mid lane again 25 last hits on the Templar Assassin with the Garrocopter being 27 for 12 so very even here on the last hits here but uh, the main difference of course comes from the Garrocopter dying twice and only being involved in one kill and for that one kill he wasn't even alive to get the experience Bamboo here placed another web there is uh, the kill still on the <laughs> Keeper of the Light nice job from Bamboo Spiderlings Bamboo is gonna be able to stay alive Keeper of the Light was the one with the uh, with the sentry wards and he uh, of course I mean he didn't have them anymore but uh, yeah he's gonna be able to stay alive and he should be fine again moves back towards the bottom lane by himself as the Garrocopter picks up the Undying this time though the Undying made an excursion towards the mid lane picked, picked up a uh, tombstone was not able to kill off the Garrocopter who still almost did it with the tombstone but uh, doesn't uh, doesn't happen anymore as a uh, broodmother whoa this is gonna be dangerous one illuminate would kill him off he is gonna be safe but is he gonna be safe enough keeper of light standing around here trying to wait and see where he is there goes the last hit there goes uh, there he Wah! no it's gonna be no kill no kills today yet yet it is uh, still uh, not yet um, though I say no kills today it is still the wisp that dropped in the uh, in the well, in the fountain area, able to uh, be caught out by the Templar Assassin and by Quicks as well, as they now smoked up, looking for the next target. As apparently my camera is always somewhere where there is no kills around, and that is uh, quite dangerous, but this might actually be turning into a kill. Malefist, style cat, mal damage, there's a three second stun though, trying to help out. Is it gonna be enough? It looks like it might be, but there is a trap, and there is a decay. We're not taking it back, picking him off, and that was the first kill on the top lane on the Chaos Knight, and of course also, the supports for the Chaos Knight were all gone, they were not there as Bamboo uh, feeds a bit more spiders to the Keeper of the Light and is gonna force back uh, the audio with uh, some harassment there, but for now he is okay. Balas uh, needing a pause and then we'll, we'll be seeing a Illuminate being charged up in the meantime, gonna be doing some damage to Bamboo unless he can get away in time. 1k gold up on Bamboo, curious to see what he's gonna go for. I mean, Orchid could be very nice against that Keeper of the Light uh, especially. But uh, at the same time, we've seen we've seen Brood Mothers going for BKBs, going for Yashas, going for um, yeah Manta Styles after that, etc. So there's a lot of possibilities here, and w I mean it it is all viable. That's the thing with the Brood Mother. Uh, the thing is though, once you know what she's picking up, you kind of know what kind of gameplay she is uh, planning to do. So uh, we'll we'll just wait and see when uh, when that's gonna be happening. As we have uh, Garrocopter actually overextending towards, or not overextending, extending on the uh, other side of the river. He is going to be uh, flanked here by Shvidora though is coming in, who has got face boots, who wants to try to find a kill, maybe. Not sure if he's going to be able to do that, because of course Nyx Assassin is around there, and he is full on mana. 
And by the way, Nick's assassin, um, I didn't really say this yet, but also being picked up partly because it's a bit of a counter towards the Keeper of Light. We have seen that before, and you probably know that f uh, already, or at least a lot of you would, uh, that uh, the Illuminate goes through, and you can see it charge up. You can just pop the Spike Carapace uh, at the right time. Make sure that Keeper of Light is the one that, that gets stunned, and you don't take damage from that yourself. So that is uh, probably one of the reasons why that Nyx got picked up right there, as we have already been called from Dallas, and we will be going uh, once more. Uh, we're not on the top lane in the meantime. Yes, he's got a kill, but he died three times. He's been doing okay, though. Uh, we're actually going to jump to net worth. Uh, we see the Undying actually now. Well, I'm saying he's doing okay at the same time. He is uh, only just higher than the... than the... Um uh, sorry, then the supports from the Dire side. And uh, talking about soul lanes, that Nyx Assassin, the Templar Assassin, she still went for it, and she is the one that drops. I really didn't think she was gonna go for that two versus one. That was a ballsy move uh, from Sweet and and not a successful one because of obviously she died. So uh, so that that is Bamboo is gonna be uh, taking a lot of damage here. It's oh it's on the way out and again is gonna be safe. He is really playing with fire, but he is the one that has one kill. He is a uh, one up. Is doing an okay job. Has got of course his firelings trying to go for some last hits as well. Uh, they are ex expecting him to still be around here. Maybe if there's gonna be illuminate going through now. There's no man up on the keeper of the light anymore. But uh, yeah, he's he's still hanging around here. Interesting enough. And there's no no more sentry wards. The keeper of the light doesn't have any sentry wards on her. Neither does the phantom lancer. As we have the mid lane fight going on. Four seconds set up on the enigma. He wants to throw out a black hole, but cannot do it. Cold on coming down as well, trying to help out. Impale upon the Undying, getting bashed by Stalkart right here, but Stalkart has to run away from Shui. And there's the Whiff Feather, who goes back towards the top lane where they came from. And now Templar Assassin gonna try to go for Nick's Assassin, and he pops his ultimate, and he will be safe. So they picked up a kill on the Enigma, did not lose their own life, got very low though, but uh, will be safe again as Whiff is just gonna TP towards the uh, fountain to get his HP back up. Chaos Knight is going to continue farming but while he can do so he doesn't want to be giving up the lane just yet and even though he doesn't have any wards to scout out where the people are going uh, yeah he's going to be TP now uh, as well. There we go I was going to say he has uh, otherwise a bit too risky ward being placed here so they do see Bamboo around there. Bamboo I mean I'm, st I'm sticking on this bottom lane because it's, it's it's so close every single time but he keeps managing to stay alive. Quite impressive indeed. But, uh, but we'll see. At some point you'll have to die, and and at that point I'll probably miss it because you know I'm only there for when I say that what that kind of action could happen, and it happens when I'm not there. That's kind of the prerogative for this game, apparently. But uh, we'll find out sooner or later. There's going to be a tower going down still. Illuminate going through to Bamboo right here. Again, more damage being done there. Templar Assassin popping a trap up on Mantis. Melt damage going through. Spill as well. Impale actually missing. Cold on still. It's on two. Are they going to go in on this? That's the question. Sentry ward upon sentry ward. And they, got, like, they can destroy it. And here actually comes uh, an illusion from the Phantom Lancer helping out. And the real one is here around here as well. Three heroes. Four heroes now in the mid lane. Four Sven Hunters. The impale hits on the Templar Assassin. Level 7 up on the Nyx Assassin, who is indeed playing a support role here. Can they defend the tower? Doesn't look like they even want to. No, not enough heroes here, and they're just going to be giving that one up. For sure. Trap still going off on the Nyx Assassin. Cannot go in on that, though. No blink dagger just yet. As we have rockets going through, Mantis though, inside the tombstone, there is the rocket barrage, but it's not enough, it is Shui that picks him up still, with the Lance of course helping out for the Phantom Lancer, and Nick's assassin still alive, but had to pop his vendetta to be able to stay alive, and that is going to be a tower and a kill in favor of Sven Hunters, as the gold graph just spikes upwards, that is uh, the second tower in the game going down, the second also on the side of next KZ, as they are not able to hold their own so far, they of course have got this mid game, and we will see them being a bit more aggressive now, I hope, because that's what they need to do, and they are going somewhere. It's gonna be bottom. It's gonna be towards the, the oh, towards Blueberry Ninja, four seconds down, no fight at that! 
And it's gonna be the next one. They find him. Reality ripped in. Das is being popped. Cannot escape this. Uh, do they have more of the table? They have got one stun again for seconds. Wisp leaves his target alone. And again, spawn spiraling is happening. Uh, this time, though, Chaos not picking up the kill. Here comes Werner. There is a tomb turn up as well. Decay going through. Bamboo being locked inside. Creeps trying to get away. Sandworm being placed as well, though he cannot escape. Malefice as well goes down to Werner. It will be the Chaos Knight that's going to be able to back off. That was actually the first time that Bamboo went down. But they still managed to get two kills for one, though. In a way, it was kind of worth it, but it's a shame that Bamboo had to die for it. As Wiz TP's back towards the top lane, he's been involved in five out of the nine kills so far. And it looks like they might be trying to go for this uh, this tower right here. It could be uh, could be their target indeed. Fifteen hundred gold upon the Chaos Knight. As no. seriously, Templar Assassin. I really thought they didn't wouldn't go on that. I keep thinking wrong apparently though. Like after didn't it really kicking in. Templar Assassin dropping there. And uh well successfully so apparently they will be able to get a, maybe some damage on the tower. TP is gonna come in. Math is gonna be in a lot of trouble here though. The K going through too. And they're not gonna be able to chase it even though they tried. But the TP just took too long for the Enigma to get there. No Malefist to help out. In the meantime, though, it's going to be the uh, Phantom Lancer that does find a target. Finds Mantis, who is trying to stay alive. Or he uses Rocket Barrage off cooldown again if he wants to use it again. There is the Rocket Barrage as well as the cooldown and the homing missile. But it's not going to be enough. Mantis uh, takes a dive, takes a fall. In the meantime, Broodmother is still not able to pick off their own tower. There is no towers down yet on the side of the Sven Hunters so far. Illuminates go through once more. And that's going to be a tier 1 tower. Last one standing on the side of next day, KZ. They should be dropping. But maybe not yet. Malefice. Nyx Assassin runs into a sentry ward and will pay for that as a two second stun is in the Undying, but they are outnumbered. Black Hole doesn't hit anything though. This might be an opening again for next KZ as they now have the advantage. There goes a homing missile. Gonna hit towards Creep, apparently. Or oh, Werner. It didn't do that much anyway. Illuminates go through. Tower still standing for now, however. And that's gonna be uh, 130 gold going the way of Mantis. Mantis, who's got 1200 gold, has uh, already got face boots, but 15 minutes in, you kind of would have hoped that he would have had more right now. And net worth highest is actually the Broodmother, and now also with the tower going down, of course, helping out. And they will try to go for Go Audio, and there is four seconds done. Dust already being popped. He cannot escape, and he will take a dive. Wisp picking up the last hit. Wisp, who will be away from there shortly again. There we go. Werner, though, landing a decay, getting another four seconds done. Style catch. You are so lucky today. They cannot find the kill though. Not even with a 4 second stun. Chaos Knight will be able to TP out on Broodmother. Bamboo should be safe there as well. As it's actually very interesting to see that it is the Broodmother that is highest up on net worth. With the Hand of Midas with 2100 gold and even higher than the Phantom Lancer who was on the safe lane. So that is uh, that is very interesting indeed. Phantom Lancer, who did pick up something right now, actually, or actually, the re maybe the reason that Phantom Lancer is lower is because he has got something. No, he doesn't have. Interesting. This is all he has. Huh. You'd expect something more, anyway. Still lower than the Brute Mother, which is what we see. As we have a Blink Dagger actually up on the this guy right here on the Templar Assassin. So we'll be able to initiate a bit more aggressively right now as uh, we see Nyx with an invisibility one, maybe looking for a target. Or at least going to be able to defend Mantis if uh, the CA is going to go up on her. No Clavash, because he can. It's just that simple. Tier 1 tower, will it drop? Would be the last one standing on, the, on Sven Hunters. Very, very, very welcome there as we have got a tombstone and a dust being used, or sentry word rather, being used to, uh, to try and successfully take down the brute mother. In the meantime, though, they're gonna find another target. Go Audio is gonna be the target again. Four seconds done. Really stealth catch. He will be able to get the kill. One more hit needed. Actually, Stick Charge is able to help him keep alive. Reality rip back in, though, and that's gonna be the kill. 
four seconds done all over the place. We have uh, got the Nyx Assassin still going down though, and it was in the middle lane that that happened again, Sentry Wards. I have to say, there are a lot of Sentry Wards being used on, uh, on both teams actually, because that was a Sentry Ward for the Dire team. And no gems being purchased, though I would have, I would have estimate that there's already been so much Sentry Wars that you might, have, uh, might as well buy a gem. But then again, who's going to carry it, right? That's also, of course, the question as Mantis just clears out the Ancients. Got 2800 gold. Does he want to go for a Relic? That could be the case for this one. Uh, just to be a bit more of a hard carry than uh, than anything else. As he, of course, I mean, he also has the Chaos Knight to help out. But Chaos Knight himself, I mean, he has got okay-ish farm. But it's still not that impressive, and I actually, actually say, it's not that exper Maybe I'm just sitting with my mind in the wrong game set or something, but it seems like all of these heroes have been shut down by each other enough to be uh, not that impacted. In the meantime, we have to go on the middle lane. They will be mounted and drops. We're dropping back towards the top lane instantly, because it looks like we're going to have a go on the top lane as well. Nine looking for an impale. Who is he going to find? He's going to buy and find Blueberry Ninja. Realize we're back in. Mana leak already happened. Can they find him? Yes, they can. Ballas picks up the kill. The next assassin is going to be running away from uh, Sweet Dota, who tried to go for that one, but got hit by the Carapace. Will there be another impale? No, no mana for that one. As oh, Wisp, two seconds down, not going to be able to help out, because the KO is still there from Werner. Stalker now on the run, will be slowed down by audio. Melt damage, Stalker, Malefice, and he drops. Three Dota getting a kill there as well. Three, four, one. Picking that one up for just a key from light is not ideal at all. Top As I am, um, I noticed that I'm missing a lot of the kills tonight for this match, and I'm sorry for that one. Dyer's top tower has fallen. So I wanted to point that out. Yeah, we have uh, Yasha up on the Brute Mother, so that's going to be our item of choice. As uh, normally we see Yasha and then followed up by another item, something like a PKB perhaps. So we'll see if that's what uh, what Druid Brother, uh, what Bamboo wants to do as well. He uh, has, as as already said, picked up the Midas, so that will help his team getting more experience and farm. As we will see also, Mantis already doing the cooldown. Tombstone going up, they're still slowed down for the trap as well. Wisp coming in though, gonna try to help out. Here comes the Chaos Knight. Can he find a stun? Finds a stun. Find a stun up on the Enigma. No black hole for you. And Quicks already drops. Gem of Truce had dropped there as well. We have to back in. Wern is gonna be the target. One hit, two hit. Where's your crit, Stalcat? No crits, two seconds down would be enough though, should be enough, and that's going to be Chaos Knight picking it up as a gem. We got picked up by uh, the, oh, by the, uh, by the Phantom Lancer actually. It is uh, the Phantom Lancer also that picks up the Chaos Knight, and this is interesting because it was the Enigma that dropped the gem, next KZ getting him down, but they weren't able to pick up the gem, not even to, uh, to destroy it. So interesting to see that one as Broodmother has a... Uh, to find a way to get more uh, life inside the jungle and set up a hunger up on the creeps. And in the meantime, he's forcing Blueberry Ninja to just stand here constantly. Because uh, as soon as Blueberry Ninja leaves, he will be able to, of course, uh, go for the tower. But with Blueberry Ninja here, he will just be able to illuminate every single time and the spiralings will die and he'll just end up feeding his opponent, which is also not something that is very ideal. Meantime, Gold Graph slightly even. <laughs> Interesting. Indeed, as we have the kill score also even, experience graph also even, this game is very even so far. And if we we'll look at this late game, I would say, I mean, there there's two ends to the stick right here, yes. Ooh. Well, yes, the um, Phantom Lancer is a very hard carry and uh, will be able to, or should be, one of the hardest carries in, in this game, in this matchup right here, that is. Uh, though having said that, there's actually three Maybe even four potential semi carries. Oh, whoa. Templar Assassin Man on League Real Drift in. Sweet! Four second stuns. Because you can. Wisp picks up the kill. So um, there's actually four semi carries on the side of Next KZ. Um, I'm also counting the Next Assassin, even though he has been ganking mostly. If you consider this late game, there might be. Uh, well, Wisp TPing here. Wait a second. Malaf is up on the Enigma, also, or at least a stun. And he will go down. Black Hole still being casted though, and that's gonna be him going down still, and that is Talcat stunning up Werner, trying to stay alive, Reality Rift in, Werner uh, does his name justice, he is still not dead, stunned but not dead, and it will be next KZ that has their heroes dropping around them. How can he not die? Blade Mill is the answer, interesting to see. And that is a fight in favor of... of uh, of Sven Hunters for sure.
They just walked right into their death right there. In the meantime, though, yeah, this is gonna, not going to change for a while. Keeper of Light's going to stick around. The fusel blade up on the Phantom Lancer right now. Of course, that's uh, part of his standard build. He has also got his Vlads. Might still be going for a Radiance, uh, but uh, we'll, uh, only time can tell, so we'll just have to wait and see. As we have a mechanism being built up by the Wisp, which is actually quite late. But uh, better late than never. Garakata picked up a Ghost Scepter. Having a bit of escape mechanism as well as, of course, that initial burst damage coming out of stealth. And if you can initiate with that, that would be uh, very nice indeed. Stalkat in the meantime still building towards his BKB. We already saw him building that earlier, but uh, so far not being able to do it just yet. Even though he has been in 12 out of the seven kills so f uh, nine, 17 kills so far. So only missing 5 kills. And we have got the Quicks as well as Werner and Audio going towards the bottom lane. They're going to look for the Broodmother. They're going to find him as well. Broodmother backs off though. The Gem of Truth said, of course, on the Enigma it makes it pretty scary. Because, of course, uh, Sven the Hunters were able to keep that that uh, gem in the family with that fight in, uh, near the secret shop on the Radiant Secret Shop. Bamboo, Manta style complete, so we ended up finishing that one as he's going for a bit more of a semi carry potential. He needs that too, though. Like, especially as I just said, you want to have that when you are up against a uh, Phantom Manta. And right now I hope for Bamboo that he's going to be getting support because there are four heroes, four angry heroes from um, Sven Hunters on his bottom lane middle tower is under attack. looking to take down their first tier one, tier 2 tower at the same time though their tier 1, their last one being harassed here as well TP's are going to come in, Meltem is going to go through Manda Manta is able to use his Ghost Scepter it's going to be able to stay alive for now but it's going to be uh, it's going to be 9 that won't be so lucky will be picked up and actually we're going to pick up the kill on this on dying more gold for him TP back in from Bamboo on the bottom lane to defend that one. Tower still dropped in the mid lane, of course, and looks like uh, this uh, top tower is also going to be rest. Phantasm is even being used for that one. Beaker, Beaker completed up on the Chaos Knight. And there goes the tower. Garrocopter picking up the last hit for that one. Garrocopter, who uh, is going for the Helm of the Dominator, wants to go for a Satanic. We have seen Satanics doing miracles for Garrocopters before, so. Uh, might see that one uh, once more as uh, we've got 1400 gold up on the Phantom Mancer. We'll see. Maybe he wants a Manta Cell rather than going for a Radius, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Illuminate uh, going through. Horses, I should say. Four stuff being built up by the Keeper of Light. Something to uh, get him out of danger should that Broodmother attack him, for example. If he's on the bottom lane, and he's gonna be on the bottom lane a lot. Now he doesn't have to be because he knows that the lane was pushed out. Broodmother, who picked himself up his uh, his own gem, and Igma still has his. So there's two gems up on uh, on the game so far, one on either side. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And that's gonna be the tower dropping. No defense there at all for next crazy. But then again, how can you defend against this right now? I'm not sure if you even can. They're gonna try though. Here comes Manta, they're only fine illusions. This is also an illusion. Illusions everywhere! Shri, gotta defend top, maybe. Top where the Wisp and the CK, the ones that are sticking together all the time, are still hanging around. And they have got the, uh, the relocate, of course, but in case you're wondering, why don't they relocate more? Why don't they try to get more kills? It's very simple. If you're gonna try to catch the Phantom Lancer, it won't work. You'll either uh, double walk away, because you don't have a gem, you have to be with the Broodmother to have that. Or he'll uh, actually be able to kill off a Wisp very fast because he does have a lot of damage and he has to be yeah, you have to be careful around him. Templar Assassin should be logical, you can't kill her off because she'll kill the Wisp off as well before, at least before she died. Which would leave the Chaos Knight vulnerable there. Uh, the Enigma. Well, two things actually here because one, it is hard to find out where he is, he's being fairly safe apart from right now. Uh, but he's been in the jungle a lot too. He has, of course, that black hole, which will allow his uh, your, uh, the opponent team to get to where the Enigma is, and so that he can be picked off there. And then we have the Undying, who you can't probably die in the time that you have. Keeper of Light is going to be the only real option, but Keeper of Light is going to make sure that he is not by himself. And even now with the Ghost Scepter, will help them out tons, and, and he'll be able to get away from that one. Of course, Reality Rip back in could still be there. 
but um, it is um, it is not the most ideal target to gank either. But we'll, we'll find out if they still want to go for that. For now, they're happily free farming, and this is something that they can just do as well. We have got the Vitality Booster up on the Chaos Knight, so we might see a heart build up on him, uh, just to make sure that he is able to survive all the hits that come off from uh, the, the Undying and all his illusions. As the smoke is up for an Sven Hunters, and they are going towards the top lane. Top lane is going to be their goal, Wisp and CK, who smell that something is wrong. Roshan in the meantime being taken down by Broodmother. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any contestant for that one. They go somewhere. Bottom lane is where they wanna be at. They find the Keeper of Light. Told you he was a good target. He's gonna call someone to come towards him though. Blinding Light coming off as well. And here comes nobody. Four seconds done. You're, you're dead. And the Chaos Knight gets left alone in the meantime. They do realize that it is Bamboo that's trying to take down the Roshan. He goes invisible. Cooldown coming down as well. Rockets do hit. Bamboo has to back out. Picked himself up a Demon's Edge, by the way. And now, do they have to give Roshan away or can they actually fight this? Of course, they want to fight this. But uh, without the Broodmother on full HP, they might not be able to. We have the Roshan taken down already, so uh, we'll, we'll see how that's gonna go as they're still gonna go in there. Nice Impale hits actually on three targets. Here comes the Nyx Assassin as well, has his Carapaz uh, up, but nobody attacking him. We have Wern already dropping down. Wisp picking up the last hit, wants to go for more. Three seconds set up by Shui, who drops as well, and he was the one that got the Aegis. He'll be back up again shortly. There will be a reality if he tries to get out, but you know, it doesn't really matter. He's already dead. Chaos Knight picking up the kill for that one, and that is a smiley face for how fast that hero actually went down. And now Broodmother finds himself a Phantom Lancer, and there's of course the Gem of Truth, and he cannot get away from this, and he will die. Spawn finally is doing the works. And apparently the spirits got Roche. Was <laughs> killed by the dagger. I did not even realize that. It was still Templar Assassin, of course, that picked up the Aegis. And of course this is a Shadow Blade. I know the difference between a shadow blade and a ghost after. It's easy to make mistakes like that in my head. Did she saw that? That's Radiant's probably for me. Um, but I saw it. Oh, Kathy. Oh, Kathy, I hope you saw that. As we have got a Nick dropping to the whisper in the middle lane. As it looks like next KZ, they want to capitalize Radiant's on their uh, victory and they want to take down their two towers. This is the last one standing on the side of, uh, of Sven Hunters on dying, putting up the tombstone. Maybe they try to go for that one. Uh, they at least saved their tower for now. Illuminate, of course, doing a big job of, job of that as well. As uh, BKB picked up by the Garacopter has that one complete before going for the Satanic. Meantime, Wisp, not got much more. Oh, actually, he's got 2,500 gold, but other than that, item-wise, he doesn't have that much. Curious to see what he's going to go for. He might actually go for a Ghost Scepter, just to make sure that the Templar Assassin cannot attack him, because he has been dying to the Templar Assassin, and Ghost Scepters will be able to help you out there if you uh, have issues uh, with that. And, uh, of course, Phantom Lance are also someone... I mean, he can still lance you and stuff, but other than that, he can't really do that much. His abilities... I mean, two of his abilities are passive. This is basically the only thing that he can actively do to you. The Spirit Lance, that is, and... Uh, we don't see anything picked up by the wisp just yet. We have Broodmother standing around waiting until this lane is safe once again to continue to push out. That's of course what he wants to do. So far no damage done yet in the tier 3 tower. With uh, the Desolator now up on the Templar Assassin, that's, so that is her item uh, being finished right there. Ghost Scepter, this time it is for real, up on the Enigma, who is of course with that able to survive against the Chaos Knight, against the Garrocopter, against the Broodmother, I mean against the Nyx Assassin mostly. Of course Nyx Assassin also has a lot of magical damage, but uh, a good item overall, useful item indeed, as the trap goes off a mantis, they want to go on this, can they find him, there goes the lance, up onto the high ground, they can do that, they had the trap there, but the ghost, uh, so shadow blade, will make sure that he is able to back out from that one, Lothar's edge, you can call it that one instead if you, if you would like. In the meantime, the Gem of Truth set is on the Keeper of the Light. Of course, the Enigma dropped it in the previous fight because uh, he went down there. Keeper of the Light, though, able to keep that uh, that gem. The gem is also still up on the Broodmother. Of course, still has his uh, Demon's Edge. Might be going for a uh, Deadless next if he wants to. He wants to go for some damage. Wants to be having that, that semi-care potential, was what I was talking about. 
Phantom Lancer in the meantime getting bigger and bigger. His amount of goals now at 1600. He indeed is going to go for Mantis now. He's got the Wisp still not buying anything. Damn you. Chaos Knight though, he is uh, buying stuff. He's got a heart complete by the looks of it. Yes, he does. Or, well, he's got a Reaver at least, not a heart, just a Reaver. Uh, but the, the Daedalus is up on Bamboo now. He has that, got, but that one complete. So that is that one sorted. As uh, we'll see, Sven, Thailand, Sven Hunters is looking for something. They have they are grouped up a lot of the time. They are afraid to leave their base a bit and they're just letting their opponents farm slightly. Man's not being used there. Should be able to be for Bamboo to get away from that one. He doesn't have any webs up just yet. Uh, they have of course a gem of fruit side so they will be able to see him and he is uh, gonna die. He drops a gem and destroys it before it drops though. That is uh that is some micro play right there. As we have in the meantime, they will pay for that one by taking down their, uh, or by losing their treasure tower. There's a blink in, melt damage, rock of the rush, the refraction already up, and peel going up as well, and here comes Quicks, who looking for something, finds the Garrocopter inside the uh, Shadow Blade, so he's not able to see him. You know, he finds him, even though he didn't see that he found him, that's basically my theory right there. Uh, but yet, yeah, tower still stands for now. Well, lucky for them. As we have got... Oh, the game is still so even. I mean, we have the gold graph in favor of XKZ. They've been able to take down the last couple of fights. Experience graph as well. But Sven Hunter's definitely not out of this fight just yet. Definitely not. Not with that uh, Phantom Lancer getting bigger and bigger. And he's got 3k gold. And it's already 34 minutes into the game. And it doesn't look like it's going to be over anytime soon. So uh, just make sure you... Uh, are prepared for a potentially long game because the anti uh, push potential from both teams, of course, uh, pretty strong right there. Um, if you have a keeper of light, I mean, yes, it's in favor of next, next KZ, but the keeper of light is there to make sure that uh, next KZ cannot push in all too well. As we have got the tier two tower top, last one starting on next KZ, looking to be the target right now. Then we'll probably drop. Let's see if next KZ can do something against that. They're gonna come in from the sides and from the front. Mountain's got a green from the front. Ooh, hiccups. Here they come. Oh, Blueberry Ninja. Gonna be the first one. Mana leak up on Mountain in the meantime. Blueberry Ninja, though, already going down. But what a black hole. It catches three. Spill damage going through. Valus already dropping on his wrist. Two seconds stone landing there as well. Impale as well. Shui is still alive for now, but taking a lot of damage. It's actually melted inside of all that bundle of heroes as Chaos Knight drops there. Selka not able to survive. Decay will take care of the Nyx Assassin. And now Mantis is on the run. And this might actually be a barracks going down. With only the Broodmother surviving together with the Mantis on this Gyrocopter. Broodmother hanging around there, being still very slow by the tombstone. And he has got another gem once more. Tower will drop the one dying, picking it up. Here comes Mantis, able to at least uh, distract the creep wave, but there's no fortification anymore. Here comes Brute, but though, popping his Mantis style. Takes so much damage, however, and this time he cannot defend the gem. And the gem gets picked up by their opponent team. Gyrocopter is going to get dropped. That is a team wipe. I just said the game might take long, but no. Sven Hunters comes in, takes a team fight very convincingly. Next KZ just coming in two by two or one by one, and they just get picked off. And let's see if we can see Sven Hunters trying to get more instead of that one. This might be even another barracks going down. We do have the Nyx Assassin and the Wisp back up again, but they are just supports. There goes the Tombstone as well. They, of course, have the gem. They find the Wisp, and there's the Impale hitting on two. Soul Rift keeps up free Dota though, it's gonna be safe for now, and the barracks will drop. And now Chaos Knight is back, now he should be looking for rea reality if he cannot find it though, not anymore, he needs to defend his base instead of that, and he will be able to do so with just picking up the tombstone. But that is three barracks down, oh, and they come back in again, they want to go for that impale, you're going through, Nyx Attack and Nine Wisp already going down, now Stalkhead, last one alive, still, or last one of the three that were here, three seconds on, he still lands, Trying to get away, the K will be not there because there's no mana. There's a blink in melt damage. He's very tanky, but not tanky enough to withstand three Dota's melt damages as Bamboo finds himself a Werner. But the GG is already called. Werner will still drop probably, but the GG goes towards Sven Hunters as next KZ loses uh, two games in a row against Sven Hunters. Which means that we will see them getting two points in this Gozo League Division 1 match. Sorry, I used to cast in Division 2. 
But this is of course the Division 1 match. Bamboo will be uh, dying here still as well. Because he was not able to make a big enough difference in the game. Even though he was pretty damn farmed. Most farmed hero up on next KZ. But uh, yeah, GG Corps. And if you want to find out more, I mean, I keep calling how many points people get and stuff like that. And if you want to find out what those points actually do and what the current standings are, you can go to Ghost of Gamers on that slash Dota 2 and then on the left side, oh sorry, right side even, on the ma on the page you will see a Ghost of League Season 5 button, or at least a link, and you can click on it and then you'll find all the information there. Not just the standings for the Vision 1, but also for the Vision 2 and for the Vision 3. Everything that you want to know about Ghost of League is on there, so go check that out. My name is Shiver, I'm a Ghost of Gamers caster. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming. And um, might have another game after this. We'll see that in a moment. Stay tuned regardless. I will be right back with you to see what is up next.